What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the second installment of DSE Do Something Every Day. Today, we're going to talk about how to balance brake pads. Now, what I mean by that specifically is how to balance the wear between the inboard and the outboard pad. Now, in order for this to actually be effective and be as simple as possible, you do need the pads to be symmetrical. Okay, so in this case, the S2000 AP2, I also believe the AP1, will have pads that are similar from the inboard to the outboard. Now, what you want to do is actually be able to move this pad right here that normally sits on the inboard side right next to the piston to be able to move to the outboard side. Now, unfortunately, as you can see right here, the squeal indicator is completely in the way. So what we're going to do is just take our vice grips, clamp it as close to the bottom of the squeal indicator where it attaches to the pad, and we're basically going to have at it. All right. So now that we have that removed, We still have these nubs to, to, to uh, contend with. So um, what you can do in this case is actually take a file and slowly cut these down until they are no longer going to interfere with the caliper and caliper carrier. Now if you look on the outboard side right here, you can see that they are indeed not present. And if you like, Clean up the pad just slightly before installation. Now here's another tip. Where these mounting ears are, and they slide into the caliper's spring pin, they generally get loaded with all sorts of deposits. Now you can just scrape them off normally, apply your anti-squeal coatings, but what I like to do is actually run a file over them slightly. <laughs> Now this knocks down a layer and when you actually go and fit the pad back into the spring clips you'll notice that the pad is going to move more freely and that's going to create less drag in your braking system. Now obviously a lot of people are going to say well how will I ever know that my uh, pads are all worn out now? Well. Fortunately for a lot of us enthusiasts, um, we keep a close eye on these things. And with a lot of track focus pads or even race pads, these squeal indicators are actually not even present in competition oriented pads. So this allows the racer, the user, to be able to easily swap these pads from the inboard to outboard to basically maximize their uh, life expectancy while they're on the track. Anyway, you want to be able to do this on your street pads because for a lot of us, we only have one car. So to be able to swap these pads back and forth from race compound to street compound is an added plus. If you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. Thumbs up.